Shalom family, once again you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great and awesome world, awesome session. Of course, it's your friend and it's your sister, Dr. Irene. I bring you this timely word from the Lord. I appreciate all those that are checking already to this particular session. Of course, you know I love you so much. To all the returning viewers, returning subscribers, to you always stop by whenever we do new video uploads. You always share the videos, like the videos, pray with us, donations, gifts. We love you so, so much. All new viewers, thank you so much for checking in. Please let's all like the video. Consider to subscribe, become part of this family. And let this ministry be a blessing to your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says I should give you this voice. Don't accept this invitation. The Lord says don't accept this invitation. The invitation is close by. It's coming. And he says don't accept this invitation. I want you to know that the devil knows nothing about your life or your destiny. Oh yes, you will be shocked. Because we think that the devil knows a lot. No. He doesn't know anything about your life or your destiny. And that's why the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians, he said, ah, the devil regretted after Jesus died. That is when he realized that he was the Lamb of God that came to take away the sins of this earth. He thought that killing him was going to stop what he came to fulfill, not knowing Killing Jesus was going to enable him to defeat death and to rise up with the key of sin and the key of darkness to destroy all the powers of darkness. Hallelujah. So the devil does not know anything about you. And that's why he will constantly keep sending invitation, propping you to speak, propping you to, you know, to say a word because each time when you when you say it, it's an invitation that you are giving to him. The more you keep voicing the plans of God for your life, the more you keep um, sharing your plans, the things you are about to do, the more you are accepting invitation, you are inviting the enemy to come into your life. That's why the Bible says, do everything as far as it depends on you to live in peace with all men. Don't accept the invitation to get into quarrels. Don't accept the invitation to get into poverty and all of that. Reject it and stand with God. Amen.